Hello everyone, Jerry here from HDAModelWorks.com and on this update I'm going to show reinforcing the side walls of the Millennium Falcon cutaway kit from AMT. As I've been going through this I decided that these side walls of the mandibles, especially these internal ones, as well as the external, but really these internal ones are so flimsy and weak, I've decided to reinforce all these areas with styrene along the bottom edges so that, you know, as you're handling the kit, I don't want these to collapse inward, uh, especially as I'm working on it. So what I've done is cut some styrene, square styrene stock, and I'm just gluing it in uh, on these areas to help give some support. And I'm using my Tamiya uh, Extra Thin Cement which I really love and I'm just adding it along these areas some in here not a lot because I'm going to put more after this piece is put in place and I'm going to just push that up in there get it right up against the edge and let it sit there and one of the reasons why I like using the Tamiya extra thin is that it wicks really good so when you put it in here it'll run back behind everything not in a uncontrollable manner either uh, and it bonds exceptionally well I prefer using this over the testers tube glue which can be I think pretty messy to use it's good stuff, but uh, I prefer the Tamiya. And a bottle of this uh, thin cement will go uh, many miles worth of modeling. Let me put it that way. It just uh, goes a long, long ways. Uh, it's already setting up. So that's what I'm doing on reinforcing these. And I've reinforced on the side walls on the mandibles and on the inside of the mandibles and across here this kit is really bad I don't know about this and this gap issue that's going to be in there things I'm going to have to fix along with that now before I leave this subject I just wanted to point out that to further reinforce these after I've glued these in with the styrene glue I'm going to mix five minute epoxy up and I'm going to put epoxy all along these areas as well and this will give the epoxy something to bind to and to grip more onto this. So there's going to be a coating along the insides of this, uh, these panels, and even back on these other ones, I'm going to, the curved ones, which I'm going to also put a little bit of rod stock back in here and on here um, and um, glue that in. And then I'm going to go and epoxy it up on top because if anyone handles this model in the future, these things are so flimsy on here I don't want them to pop I mean as you can see right here how absolutely thin that is and there's hardly anything for backer stops for these panels I mean it's amazing how this kit is just so poorly done um, but I want to be able to make sure that this thin plastic isn't going to move and if someone's handling it put a little bit of pressure on it uh, even by accident I don't want one of these to um, to pop out of place. Well that's about it. I know this was a short video update, but I just wanted to show everyone what I was doing to reinforce the sidewalls on the Millennium Falcon kit. So thank you for watching and please subscribe. Take care and happy modeling.